All right, we're here with our completed base flashing. We have our apron flash and our step flash and our pan flash on the rear all put together correctly. And I want to make the point here that this base flashing is only nailed around the perimeter, so it's totally free floating at the chimney. That's critical because if we were to fasten this back to the chimney and the roof were to flex, it would actually bend our flashing and create a leak. So this is intended to be free floating. It's just a compression fit with no other fasteners. The next step here is our cap flashing. And our cap flashing will fit in this mortar joint like so, and it will get bent around and riveted. But again, there's no physical fasteners through this flashing and into the flashing behind it because we want to make sure that these two can physically move independent of one another. So we've got base flash, cap flash. We'll start at the bottom and work our way around to the top. Now, as we install this, um, in this joint that we cut out, we're going to put a heavy bead of that butyl rubber or a polyurethane caulking first. Then we're going to apply our flashing, and then we'll finish up with an additional bead of caulking after the fact to seal up this joint. So to start off, we're going to center this on the joint, and I should have somewhere around three inches, which I do, and just make a mark. Now, I want the bottom long, but this top leg I need to snip off. So I'm going to make a mark here right where I need to snip off that top leg. And with that in place, I'm going to come in and just snip through the open hem and everything in one snip. And then this tab that remains right here will be cut off on both ends. So for the sake of the video, um, we're going to tear this apart. I'm not going to go ahead and put sealant in here, but again, at this point, I would go ahead and put a heavy bead of sealant in the joint and take my flashing up in, inside the joint like so. And I'm going to take and push it into that sealant and into the joint. And normally just a light tap with the palm of your hand, we can get this set in here good and tight. Now the way this masonry was laid, it's pretty typical. There's a little bit of variation and this one inch return on the top accounts for that. So here I'm pretty flush and here I'm out a quarter of an inch, but since I have this one inch return, I'm good. So that looks very good to me. Now before I can take and bend this around, I need to make a snip because this corner here is going to hit the roof when I bend. So I'm going to go ahead and make a snip here. And this is going to be totally by eye. It's Again, a 512 pitch, if you want to do it with a square, we can take our square on here and try and make ourselves a line. But either way, we're just trying to put about a 5612 pitch on this so we know where to cut. And these will all be hidden edges. We may need to take a little more off if we didn't bend it enough. But holding it tight on the front, take your thumb and your other hand and bend this around. And this is where it helps to overbend a little bit. So I'm going to pull it out, overbend a little bit here so it's nice and snug. Maybe take a little bit more off that corner there. So we got a nice tight fit around the front. Now we work from the bottom up because we want the water to always be on top. So we'll do our sides next and then the back. 